welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're in Winnipeg. More specifically, we're at Ents Brothers, because today, I'm picking up my new boat. No, I'm not bringing it home with me. I'm dropping it off at another location, but for now, we're gonna pick up the boat. All right, she is hooked up off to Selkirk, to Westside Honda. And that's where this thing's gonna get powered with a awesome 90 four stroke Honda tiller. And, uh, and then we're gonna go fishing. Welcome to Westside Honda in the town of Selkirk. One day I will get a bike, but that day is not today. Now it's time to go fishing. We're in Selkirk, which happens to be a pretty good place to go fishing. Uh, next time you see this boat, there's gonna be a beautiful silver Honda on it. But for now, we are meeting up with our co-hosts and we're gonna go set some hooks. We have found our co-hosts for today's show. We got Marcel Leferrier and Editor Nick. Editor Nick. What are we, uh, what are we fishing for today, Nick? We're going for catfish. Why do you say that? Because that's what you told me. <laughs> <laughs> that right there is Charlie the Catfish. And we are in the catfish capital of? The world. The world. This is the best channel catfishing in the world. We're about to go sample it. So we're going to be shore fishing today. And we're going to show you how good the shore fishing can be here. This is one of the best options for shore fishing in Manitoba. Nick has never catfished before. Marcel's pretty bad at catfishing, so hopefully we get these guys on some big fish today. Oh, we're, we're going gold eye fishing though, right? Gold eye first, we need yeah. bait. Do you want McDonald's? We need lunch. Do you want McDonald's? No. You need McDonald's, that's why we're here. You okay, let's go. Follow me, bye. Welcome to the Selkirk waterfront. We let Nick out of the dungeon today. How does it feel to embrace the sunshine? It's painful and bright, <laughs> but good. There are a lot of people shore fishing, this is good. Shore fishing is just accessible. Like it's it's so easy. You don't need an expensive boat. You just go into your thing. The Red River is probably has more shore anglers than the rest of Manitoba combined. And I mean for good reason. There's so many different species to catch. There's big fish and there's a million different access spots. So we are first going to catch bait. Gold eye is the goal. We're gonna get Nick set up and uh, we're gonna teach him the gold eye game. Seven foot, medium, medium light spinning rod we have a slip float. And this is probably the easiest way to fish for gold eye. This little red piece up here is a stop. So the bobber will slide up to that stop and that's where it'll be anchored. So right now our worm's gonna be down there, bobber stop up there. So it's gonna be about a foot under the surface. Wherever we slide that red stopper, that's how deep our bait's gonna be. So it's nice to adjust on the fly. Um, with gold eye, they're typically right under the surface. So we don't have to uh, put it down too deep. We're gonna use a little chunk of crawler on this octopus hook, and hopefully it's bobber down instantly. All right, we're gonna pass this over to Nick. I'm gonna grab the camera. Oh, good. And, and Marcel's gonna eat his Tim's. Marcel loves eating. I don't know anyone that loves food as much as Marcel. It's kind of disgusting. Does this make sense, Nick? You're gonna cast it out? Yeah. And you're gonna wait for that bobber to go completely under. So I, I would cast a little further, but watch, like it's flowing out to Lake Winnipeg right now. The current, it's going out. So you're just gonna watch that bobber, maybe let out some line every once in a while and just let it float. Just let it cruise, wait for that bobber to dive. Sometimes you'll have to help the line out and kind of feed it out the tip. There's a fish. So that was, that was pretty good. That was uh, 15 seconds in. We got our first piece of bait, but I'm gonna try not to lose this fish. Okay, luckily they're biting. We're gonna catch more <laughs> bait. <laughs> All right, Nicholas. Okay, just just give her a toss. You don't have to go too far, as you saw. <laughs> that was an interesting cast. <laughs> We're gonna watch that bobber closely. It's under, it's under, it's under. Yep. <laughs> that was the fastest ever. <laughs> Awesome. It is on. Come hither. That is perfect Come. catfish bait.
Marcel's on fire. Oh, we're hooked. I'm hooked. Oh, he's. <laughs> Sorry, my friend's new to fishing. No problem. He's a big deal on YouTube. <laughs> Marcel Ferrier, check him out. Oh, he's on. First results. And I think it's like 36. We're gonna catch three more. Three more gold eyes. We're switching locations. Where's your bobber? Real, real. Ooh, Nick is on. Ooh. You gotta sling him. Sling him, Nick. Ooh. Ooh. Come hither. Good nice. Ooh. That's a good one. There you hey, go. There we go. There you go, Nick. There we are. You wanna give him a kiss? No. Not. Just a little one. Just a little peck. Jail won't get jealous, I promise. Love. True love. All right, time to go catfishing. Let's do it. Good job, boys. We are headed to the most popular fishing spot in Manitoba, without a doubt, Lockport, Manitoba, the base of the locks. The fish per square acre per square foot is probably not matched in many places in the world. Uh, that is where we're gonna find a location for some kitty cats and soak some big hunks of gold eye. We will see you guys in a bit. I'm not always on my phone. You're you make it look like I'm always on You're my phone. You're always on your phone. Uh Guys, this spot here on the Red River at Lockport, it holds a lot of memories. I remember a uh, time I came here with my dad, very close to the same spot. We'd never fished Lockport before. We heard these stories of all the fish you catch Lockport. We came down here with pickle rigs and minnows and we started catching these fish. We didn't even know what they were. It turns out they were drum. We hammered them one after another. And that is like one of my fondest fishing memories when I was getting into fishing. And you never know what you're gonna catch. An amazing spot for kids. If parents, you're looking for a place to take your kids, I would say Lockport should be right at the top of the list. Welcome to Jay's Kitchen. Um, we are going to be cutting some gold eye today. We're using this musky bumper, which also doubles as a great filling table. Um, so yeah, we're going, we're going big with our baits. These catfish, I mean, average size here is probably 15 pounds. So we're, we're giving them big steaks, very, very dark muddy water. And these fish rely on smell. Fresh bait is always best. And Nick's gonna hook up with the first cat because Marcel caught all the gold eyes, so. Okay, so Nick has this thing where he fishes for like five seconds or a species and then hooks up instantly. The 40 inch lake trout. 42. Not 42 inches, 40 inch lake trout. Uh, his gold eye that you just saw previously, we'll see how long the catfish takes, but hopefully uh, it won't be much longer than a minute or two. We're gonna get our next line out. 42. 42. What? What? Yeah, I'm hit. Wait. Wait till you like, oh, you're getting chowed. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh my goodness, Nick. Unreal. Marcel's on net duty. Okay, you can stand up if you want. <laughs> Nick, this is ridiculous. Look at those head shakes. Oh. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh. He's still there. He's still there. Look at those little arms wiggle. Shut up. Guys, this is ridiculous. Nick has the touch. It's a cat. It is a catfish. It's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Woo. All right, that is a catfish of the channel variety. Are you out of breath? Yes. <laughs> I don't do physical activity. Okay. I sit in a dungeon. This is, I, I'm gonna stop bringing Nick on trips because he, he makes me look so bad. What do you think? <laughs> All right, first fish, 30 seconds in, 32 incher for Nicholas, 32 and a quarter. Oh, come here, baby. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> so Nick is my child today. Nick and Marcel are my children. And uh, this is just what you can expect at Lockport. That is the average size and they get a heck of a lot bigger than that. Are you shaking? No. It makes it vibrating. All right, you can put that one back. Thanks, Dad. Number one. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Was that easy? Good job. Fishing's easy. Fishing is easy if your name is Nick Entz. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the rig we're using right now. As I said, you want to tailor the weight to the current of the river. Right now, it's flowing pretty good. So we have a six ounce, I think this is called a no snag sinker, 80 pound main line. You're gonna break off a lot of fish if you're not using heavy line. I would not go lighter than 40 or 50 pound braid. I have a bead on my line then to stop the weight from hitting against the knot that could weaken the knot. Big old swivel, a chunk of 40 pound mono or fluoro. The, the biggest thing for this is it does give stretch, but it's also nicer to deal with. It doesn't cut into your hands. If you have a chunk of braid on the end, it could cut into your hands when you're dealing with a fish. The water's so dirty. 
you could use tip up line and that's something I've done before as well. And then a nice size octopus hook, two aught, three aught kind of, this will maybe catch other species as well. Could catch us, uh, you know, a drum or a carp if it decides to take our bait. But we're gonna hook on another piece and Marcel's next. Does that have a built-in rod holder? Life is great, no. Do you want me to set I the hook make for you? One. Yeah, that'd be great. All right. Just give it to me when it's close and honestly, you can then Nick can knit it. I just want to hold it up for the picture, you know? All right, I got the kids all set up. Come on, <laughs> more cells hooked up. This is ridiculous. Nice. No. Still don't think she'll go. They're getting bigger. Not quite, but we're still like that 32 and a half mark. All right, show me. Look at those whiskers. That is how they smell what's going on. Such a cool fish. 15 pounder probably. Pretty awesome. All right, it's my turn. Throw back. There she goes. We can't even get she set up. Down. And we're like 10 minutes in, that's crazy. I told the kids I'd reward them with some ice cream if we do well, so that's what they're aiming for. They really want some chocolate sundaes. Yep, we're on. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, he's swimming at me. Oh, no! This, this is wild. I've seen catfishing like this at nighttime, but I don't know about daytime. Hit him, hit him. There you go. Marcel's on lawn chair life. Look how far back that rod is. You lean forward a little bit more. That is not proper fish fighting technique, guys. Tell me when. It's not, oh, you can, yeah. <laughs> you don't even really need to net him. All right, Marcel, we're still looking for that first mash of the day, 34 inches. This is the best place to get it done. Average size is 32. Which is ridiculous. Yeah. Show me again. They are and big. This, and this is three in like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> so I found a good system for my children. What we're doing is we are, um, wow, that's really dainty. Whoever just caught one is going to have to uh, play camera duty and the rest of us will fish. We're not even running a third rod just because this is so busy, so. Yeah, hit him, Nick, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yes, yep, I'm on. you're on. Stop it! <laughs> All right, pop the hook. Real easy. We're not gonna measure this one. This is the average size. You could wear a kid out doing this, or Nick. And all these big cats are catch and release. That's the beauty of it. These cats get called multiple times. There are a ton of cats in here, but that is a gift for somebody else now to catch later. I'll show you guys how we're hooking the bait here. Right along the spine of the fish, this is a, just a big stake. That's got really good grip. So I like to go kind of in at an angle through the spine, make sure there's no scales. If there's a scale on there, that'll make it way tougher. Awesome. <laughs> like what's going on? I'm switching seats. <laughs> Move. Wow. Jay's on. Yeah? It feels small. Don't say that. I think I lost it. Wow. Okay, you can hold this. You can watch this rod. No. Come on. I give up. I give up. I'm done. Here, this is yours. Nope. Not a chance. No. Oh. Well, Jay just put down this rod and I picked it up. And now there's a big fish on it. And she's in. Nice. 34 is the mark. Oh! Yep, there we go, 34 and a half. 34 and a half. Master angler, baby, all right, Nick. This is it. <laughs> there we go. 34 and a half, Manitoba master angler. Wow. <laughs> This is good, this is good. I'm glad that he picked up my rod. No bitterness, I promise you. This is the best place in Manitoba to get yourself a master. Guys, it is 1.30 now. We met in Selkirk at 11.30 and started fishing this morning. That is two hours we caught. 10 gold eye, half a dozen cats probably, one master angler, and we're only fishing with two rods. There is so much, and this is so close to the city. It's, you know, half an hour from, this, half an hour from the city, 
40 minutes depending on where you're at. Like I said, the density of fish in this area is absolutely obscene. You can feel them hitting against your line even when they're not eating, but we'll see if we can find an upgrade. 34 and a half is good. Master angler for Nick. He now has master in two species, so he's he's getting up there. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. Finally. Oh, it's the chair. I'm telling you, it's the chair. This is why I don't let Nick tie my knots. Also, I don't know how to do And he doesn't know how to tie fishing knots. There we go. Awesome. Woo! Finally. That took a bit. All right. Just shy, 33 incher. That is okay. Guys, if you want something that's very easy, inexpensive, you don't need a bunch of tackle for this. You guys can tangle with some big Manitoba Channel cats. You on? Guys, we only had one rod in the water right now because we were uh, rigging up and it's, this is the best daytime channel catfishing I've seen. And we're due for a monster pretty soon. Nick's on. Come on. Non stop. You look pretty muscular right now. Thank you, I've been working out. It's a decent one. Not bad. I think we should measure that one. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's your biggest of the day. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> that might be chocolate sundae material. Oh. Wow. Please. Master. Yeah. Number two. 30. Oh, touch 35. 35. That's the personal best right there, buddy. All right. Woo. Come kneel beside me. That is a hog catfish. Nick has the touch. Come check out Lockport. It is such a gem. People come from all over to catch these huge catfish. And believe it or not, days like this aren't that crazy. It is going back. That is why you come here and they do get a lot bigger. Unreal. Do we get chocolate sundaes now? Chocolate sundae time, guys. Yes. All right, where are we off to? Half Moon. If you've never been to Half Moon in Lockport, you're missing out, first of all. But it is the perfect post-fishing stop on your way home because they have unbelievable food and even better ice cream. Stay tuned. One last stop, so, Half Moon. I'm so excited. For some ice cream from Marcel. This is a staple. This is a great date option, a great post-fishing option, great pre-fishing option. Which one are we? post This is a date. date, this is, yeah. Anyways, you're about to enjoy some ice cream. What? <laughs> Guys, if you're looking for an amazing shore fishing option, Near Winnipeg, Lockport is your place. If you're looking to go with a guide, Blackwater Cats and Todd Longley, two fantastic options. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.